Hello, and welcome to the release video for version 12 of the Google Ads API. I'm Mattia Tomazone, the Developer Relations Engineer on the Google Ads API team, and I'll be walking you through the core updates in this release. We have plenty of features to discuss, so let's get to it. Campaigns now have a new status called Primary Status and a detailed field about it called Primary Status Reasons that will help your users investigate the reasons why a campaign is not serving or not serving optimally. We will publish a video soon that will cover these two fields in depth, so subscribe to the channel to be updated when it will be published. As of V12, smart display campaigns can no longer be created. You will receive a create operation not permitted if you try creating one with the Google Ads API. Existing smart display campaigns will keep serving and operating as usual. You will not be able to create new ones. To achieve the same goals, we suggest using standard display campaigns. Gmail ads also cannot be created anymore. Instead, you should be using discovery campaigns. To further help your campaigns serve better and capture more conversion value, we added two new recommendations. Raise target CPA bid to low recommendation and forecasting set target ROAS recommendation. Speaking of conversions, there is a new change in conversion tracking IDs. Starting with V12, they will always be higher than zero for all customers. In earlier versions of the Google Ads API, this field could be zero for customers who hadn't created any conversions yet. We've added support for linking a portfolio bidding strategy to a shared campaign budget via the Google Ads API. If you link these two, the shared budget will always be associated with the campaigns that are part of your portfolio bid strategy, even if you add or remove campaigns from it. The keyword theme suggestion service for smart campaigns has been updated, and it will now generate more keyword theme suggestions, which include sub keyword themes, and may also suggest free form keyword themes in some cases to make sure your smart campaigns are targeting the right customers. Speaking of targeting, you may now add and remove location targeting for your local services campaigns to target customers in specific locations that may be relevant to your local business. The Generate Product Mix Ideas method has been removed from the Reach Plan service. You can still generate forecasts for the reach of your ads by manually defining your product mix. We have a guide on our dev site to help you implement reach forecasting. There are also some changes in the experiments space. You can no longer use the Campaign Experiment service since it was removed from the API, but you can use the new experiment service that was introduced in V10. Check out the guide we have on our dev site to learn how to use it and to build experiments in the Google Ads API. As you can see, we have a lot of updates, changes and improvements in version 12, but these were just a few highlights. Check out our release notes for the full list of changes. You can find that and other useful links in the video description. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel to always be up to date with the Google Ads API.